Why are you so inconsiderate and lazy? When was the last time you even applied for a job? It's been, what, a month since you were laid off? I realize it's gonna be hard finding a position as good as you had, but maybe you could try a small position somewhere until something better opens up. I need help here, Joe. I can't cook, clean, and provide support blah, for Blah, 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 blah. Tell her to shut up. This is us she's talking to. Are you even listening to me? Of course. Liar. You were too busy listening to him. All you ever do is eat pizza rolls and watch TV all day. I'm tired of coming home from work and having to clean up your mess. It doesn't even compare to your laziness in bed. <coughs> <coughs> So you feel bad and apologize before things get worse. No! Actions speak louder than words. Slap her for that! I feel like I'm the only person who cares about this marriage. I mean, do you even love me anymore? She's giving you an out! Take it and run! Don't listen to your ego. Joe, do you? You said you are going to take this out yesterday. How can you not even find time out of your day to take out the trash, Joe? You say you're searching for a job when really you're just sitting there playing that stupid game. Well, I'm glad that was good for you. Joe, answer me! Tell her, Joe. Don't give her the satisfaction, Joe! Joe. <sighs> well, maybe you need some time to think. So you can decide what you want and who you love. Wait. L. Wow, Joe, you dumbass! Zero steps forward and two steps back with that one, Joe. What am I doing? What did I just do? You shattered your wife's feelings and now we feel guilty. I blame this whole thing on you! He should have listened to me instead of getting married at 23, but no, you thought it was the right thing to do. And now look at us! You ain't nothing but a guilty conscience! Joe, you know what we do in times like these. Yeah. I've treated this marriage like a joke. She deserves better out of me. Joe, why is this even a debate? You do not need to change who you are or how we think. There is nothing wrong with you. Something's wrong with her. You are the man, Joe. Right. I am the man. Elle is your world. She's the only girl you've ever loved. And think, why would any woman put up with you for this long if she didn't truly love you? That's what she's supposed to do. It's in the vows, remember? He's got a point there. Will you please stop thinking about yourself, you egomaniac? We're supposed to be trying to save this marriage. I'm trying to save what's really important in this marriage. Me and Joe. All right, fine. If violence is all you understand... Whoa! Pain! Phil's <laughs> right. I'm not supportive at all, financially or emotionally. I always put my friends first. I'm never cleaning up after myself. See this? I would normally leave this for her to clean up. I don't do any of the little things. Candy, flowers, nothing romantic. Hell, I haven't even taken her out on a date in two years. Why does she even love me anymore? Joe, you do not need to change who we are and how we think. She is just gonna have to get used we to us. We vowed to have and to hold, to love and to cherish. Until and to death, death sets us free! Come on, give us a break. You know, it is your fault we're even standing around listening to her bullshit. Well, it's a good thing he has someone to keep him on the straight and narrow instead of being a pretentious, lazy All right, slob. Jiminy Cricket. Round two! No, 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 no! Ah! All right, that's it. I gotta get out of here and away from myself.
okay, Joe. We're gonna get through this together. You'll find another job soon. Hey. I still have my job. It'll be tricky, but we'll make it work until you find another position somewhere. I love you so much, Joe. She had some time to think. Joe, I need to know what's going on in your head. Uh, to tell me. Beg anything, for forgiveness, just Joe. Stand there. Send her packet, Joe. Will you all just shut up and let me talk for a minute. I am sorry for being such an idiot lately. I have been sulking in my own self pity about losing my job for far too long, and I am done now. That's why I'm going to call back Stevens about taking that supervisor position at SEC. Really? It would just be temporary until I can find a solution that fits me better. I have been so selfish and blinded by my own problems that I haven't even noticed or cared about yours. The truth is, I love you more now than the day I married you. Now, you mentioned something about me being lazy in bed. Yeah? What are you gonna do about it? I got it from here, boys. Who are you talking to? Myself, maybe. Just <laughs> talking to myself. Where are you going? Time to redeem myself, if you know what I mean. 